quick video on how I power the different Limax buildings. You can use these for any miniature animated villages, whether it be Limax Department 56 or the other manufacturers out there. This side, which is lit, and this side that's not, this side is powered by a power strip. It's a 14 plug power strip that has the multi head adapters in it. Each one of those adapters either has three or four heads to power the multiple squares within the etage array and the stuff on top. This side, which is off, is powered by an old school computer power distribution center, which may not come in too well, but it says monitor, printer, aux 1, aux 2, line OK, protected fault, low voltage, and master. I press the master, you can see the houses turn on. I do have other options in these other ports, but they're not part of Wemax or my village, they're accessory lighting. Um, I try and cover it with the mat, but honestly with all the times I've been doing this, the mat's starting to get thin, so I'm thinking about incorporating it into a, making a fake foam facade to cover it. But what it does is it allows me to have a 2 inch lift base to elevate the items that are shorter. Tall house, not so tall. So it helps take up space. But here's a few different ideas on how to power your different units. Computer from the old towers or power strips. Just make sure if you have any houses that have to reset, such as booby traps. When I turn on the power, you notice this house isn't on. I have it set to where I have to turn this one on manually and then turn it back off and wait for it to reset before I kill the power. So just be aware that if you have any houses that need a reset time that you do not hook them up to or power them off at the same time as everything else.